play playing myself. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so. <laughs> okay, it's the night after Mania, which can mean only one thing. <laughs> the Royal Rumble winner, Seth Rollins. He was doing his promo about who, <laughs> who he might be fighting. He said he wanted to take some time to think about it. But one man weren't having that. Oh, no. He was interrupted by Trevor. Yeah, and I like this because he was like, no, you ain't waiting. you got to make your decision tonight, man. What's the rush? Mania is like next week or anything. They got posters to make, man. Oh. You know, they need to put faces on chairs. <laughs> okay. Well, even that, though, they were interrupted by another man. Ooh. <laughs> no. No. Uh, it's a boring and annoying one. I gotta say, much like they did with Daniel Bryan, they need to be very careful with these promos because it was getting a bit personal. Yeah. Dean was getting a bit, you know, anti authority. Yeah. And if you do that, you're gonna end up winding up the crowd cheering him again. Mm. Which is just gonna completely take the sting out of everything. Because yeah. he was like, you gotta go ask your father in law's permission to make this match. Yeah. No, Triple H was like, no, get a ref out of here. We're doing it now. Seth Rollins versus Dean. Not like we haven't seen this uh, at all recently. Thank you. I'm not even wasting time on this match. Who won? Seth Rollins won. Hey. Uh, with a curb stomp, I think. Mm-hmm. Don't remember paying a lot of attention to it. Yeah. Oh, and now we're past the Royal Rumble. It means we're also close to another pay-per-view. Yeah. And we're going to start building up for that one. We had a qualifying match for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Elimination Chamber. Yeah, three teams from Raw, three from SmackDown. So, we had Nia Jax and Tamina tagging up. Against Alexa Bliss and Mickey James. I was like, are they seriously going to put Tamina and Nia Jax in a pod together? Mm-hmm. They're going to need to make a big pod. Yeah. But again, I'm not going to devote a lot of time to this match because other than the double Samoan drop that Nia did on Bliss and yeah. Mickey James at the same time, mm. really wasn't a lot to be said about this one it's quite no. short mm. but no yeah she did the double Samoan drop on Mickey and Alexa and pinned Mickey yeah oh we got to mention before Nia had a confrontation with Dean Ambrose oh yeah this was weird Ambrose was about to do a promo in the ring yeah and yeah Nia cut him off yeah then she just pushed him out of the ring yeah and Ambrose just walked off and said, yeah, whatever. <laughs> no different than how he is normally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So, uh, for some unknown reason, this had to be a match. Yeah, but for some strange reason, they're going about Kurt Angle having one last great run. Okay. And it's like, why? He doesn't need a great run. He's a Hall of Famer. There's nothing yeah. for him to do. Yeah. He's had his five star matches. Mm-hmm. But no, for some reason, there was this whole revenge angle against Baron Corbin. Who apparently took his position right. when it was Steph that actually demoted him. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, what can I say about this one? Not great. Garbage. Not great at all. Didn't care for this one at all. Nope, he was at eye. I was like, Angle should not be winning this match. <laughs> and when he got caught with end of days, I was very happy. <laughs> because that's not a match we need in 2019. No. no. Right. Okay, no, next one. 
Oh, we had Bob. Yeah. And he was gloating about being the Intercontinental Champion. And he got confronted by Finn Balor. Yeah. I care for Bobby Lashley. He could leave the company tomorrow, and I wouldn't care. Me neither. He's just a big lump. Mm. It's like, I didn't care when he left ten years ago. Yeah. He just sort of quietly vanished. No one asked, mm. where's Bobby? So, I, I think Finn got the upper hand on this one. But, yeah. I hope this isn't leading to a rivalry because Finn deserves better than the Connell title. Yeah, he does. I think he proved that last night. Yeah. Uh, we got some tag team action next. Now, this one I was looking forward to. We've got the Revival mm. facing against the Actions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they were showing videos of their past you know, tag team exploits. Ryder and Hawkins are back, baby. I was like, yeah, come on. But they didn't come out with their old music. They had Zack Ryder's music. They weren't dressed alike. They were still wearing their singles attires. You're going to put them back in a tag team. Make them a tag team. Hmm. At the moment, they just look like two singles wrestlers. Teaming up. Yeah, but despite all the, the euphoric Edgeheads reunion and whatnot... They didn't win. So, Hawkins was caught with a shadow machine. And that was it. Yeah. So, back to the drawing board for the Edgehead. Oh, it's got to be mentioned here. A short random promo from your favourite. Oh, no. Mojo Rowley. Ugh. And he's coming back to show you who he really is. But does anyone care who he really is? He's boring. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so. Time for Elias. Which means, yet again, yes, he's being interrupted. But I'm, I'm going to call out a problem on this one. This annoyed me. I'm not sure if you noticed this while watching this, but they have very slyly turned Elias heel again. Yes, yes, they have. Which I was not happy about because he was over as a face. Yeah, fans were cheering this guy yeah. loudly. Mm-hmm. And now he's back to saying, "Oh, you let me down last night." Telling the crowd to shut their mouths, back insulting the crowd again. Mm-hmm. And he was interrupted by two individuals. Yeah, Jeff Jarrett again, <laughs> and the Road Dog. Oh, yeah, he's looking a bit tubby. And we did get a duet. It was with Jeff Jarrett and the Road Dog. And much to our shock and horror, Renee didn't know the words. <laughs> no, no, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, then Elias got involved. Took out the road dog. And then he took out Jeff Jarrett. Yeah. There was there was a little bit of a fight back from Jarrett. In the end, he took another guitar to the back. Oh, God. I hope they've got something better planned for him than this. Oh, it gets better, man. It's been confirmed now. Next week on Raw. Double J is back in action. Oh, wow. And he's fighting Elias. <laughs> oh, oh. I haven't even got any words. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> All right. What's next? I can't even talk about it. So, we've got our next Dai Women's Tag Team Championship qualifying match. We've got the Riot Squad... Against Natalia and Dana Brooke. <laughs> Christ almighty. Uh, so there you go. you got the Riot Squad, who have done nothing for like a year. Mm. And a tag team of two people that don't even like each other. Yeah. And they even did a promo backstage where Natalia and Dana Brooke said they don't like each other. 
<laughs> Great. So you were like, right, so who's walking out on who? I can't remember. <laughs> I think it might have been Brooke that took off. Mm. She might have knocked off the apron and wanted. But now the, the Riot Squad picked up the win in this one. Mm. I don't remember how. I wasn't paying a lot of attention to this thing. Ah, uh, the Riot Squad one. Yeah. yeah. Right, no one cares. Oh, and then we had an open challenge next for the Raw Women's title. Who would who would answer that challenge? Well, you can automatically rule out anyone who's already been in a match. Mm-hmm. I said basically, it's either going to be Sasha or Bailey. <laughs> it was Bailey. <laughs> At least there's a match we haven't seen before. Yeah. I didn't mind this one. No, 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 it was fine. Again, in the end, you knew he was winning. Yeah. All night long. You like, on this road to WrestleMania, there was no chance that Bailey was going to win. No. No. She definitely tapped out, right? Yeah. It was armbar for this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I like this one. She was... They were on the top rope, and Ronda did the whole flipped off the top rope thing and caught her in the armbar. Mm, yeah. Which I thought was quite creative. Yes. No, Bailey tapped out. They did the whole, oh, I respect you thing. And then we had an entrance. We got an interruption. It was the man. Mm, she was on Raw. Gave a very sly. The Bailey, oh, no. and she did it back. And she said, "Well, Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie, I'm here to take your title off you." Oh, and the, did the crowd go mental for this one? Oh my god! You see, this promo confirmed for me that this match needs to stay as it is, without a shadow of a doubt. It has to stay a singles match. You see, okay, I'm going to say, I'm a huge Charlotte Flair fan. Anyone who's listened to the show will know that. But she does not need to be in this match. No, she does not. She does not deserve any right to be in this match. It should be a straight one-on-one match with Becky and Ronda. I love this promo. I really do. Yeah, I'll give her a juice. Ronda cut a hell of a promo as well. Easily her best promo in the business. Yeah. Yeah. The man's coming around to take the title off of Ronnie. This is it. I mean, it's just the, the picture of them two looking at each other. Yeah. That's all you need. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This story tells itself. I mean, come on, the crowd were going insane for this. Yes. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'd actually be fine if this main event is WrestleMania. There's a rumour going around it. It is main event. And obviously, until the event actually happens, we're not going to know for definite, but yeah. Apparently, potentially, it is main eventing. Well, don't mess this up, though. So, me. after that bombshell, we move on. Money match. To sort of the main event. Yeah. It was the last match. We had Braun versus the Scottish Psychopath. Oh, it's Psychopath this week. Drew McIntyre. And it ended with a DQ. Yeah, after not really going anywhere. I'm trying to, it was Baron that came out. Yeah, yeah, because him, him and Drew beat up Braun together. Why does Drew need to have Baron with him for crying out loud? <laughs> the man's huge. Yeah, exactly. he can do it on his own. Yeah. Oh, because didn't they do like a. Yeah. Double power bomb. No, they double choke slammed him. Yeah, double on, choke slam onto on the, the steps. That was it. Yeah. Uh, see what happens next week. Maybe this one. might be Bray Wyatt coming back. September. To help out his former Wyatt family brother. Mm. So, we had Brock in attendance tonight. Yeah. This was Seth going to make his decision. Mm. He was in the ring. 
Brock Lesnar. I choose you. Well, he didn't actually get to choose anyone. <laughs> no. No, I, I don't know. But was Daniel Bryan actually in the building or... Was it just a pre-recorded video? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, you had the video, but you didn't actually see him. Because they could have recorded that after the rumble. Exactly. And he never actually came out. Because Seth was, you know, mulling over his choices. Brock came out. He gave him an F5 for his troubles. Ah, you, see, you remember when I was telling you about finisher overkill? Yeah. Brock Lesnar did six F5s. Jesus Christ. Six. The uh, fifth one was actually on the Universal title. Uh, which I'm sure Vince didn't appreciate. Oh. And after the fifth one, Seth was like, Seth was still there. He was still conscious, going, Is that all you got? After five F5s. Bloody hell. Jesus. But no, fortunately, after the 6th F5, he was like, okay, that's it, and they walked off. Right. Cheers, Brock. <sighs> and that was how we ended Raw. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Still got a wave to go. Mm. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got anything more to say. <laughs> right. So, as always, folks, from your host, the Master of the Brain Damage, Arthur. and the one and only Sam Age, we'll see you again for the next one. The man's coming for you, Ronnie. <laughs>